just recently one of my clients asked me a question just before having the consultation he asked me that how can i get a good consultation from you how can i get a good reading from you all right so i was like wow <laughs> it's a nice question so what i have done is in this video i have listed 10 points by which through which i would say we can get a good reading from any astrologer and this could hold true for any life coach or any guide or any guru also and not spiritual gurus but in general anybody who is guiding you at a mundane level okay it could also hold true uh, some of these for your spiritual guru but in general for any guide or any counselor either it's an astrologer these principles could be important okay so there you go if you want a good consultation from me then you could go down to my website below and book a reading with me and if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him all right so this is specific to astrology here so the the first one is and yes before i start i would like to give a warning here these are the principles which I have written down and th this is not there in any scripture or no guru has told me and there is no thumb rule okay so this is what I have felt in my experience with my limited knowledge and limited experience and that's what I'm sharing so many of you may not agree with all of these points or some of these that's perfectly fine I'm not saying that you have to go like this only but uh, so many people have asked me this so i'm making this video it's for them okay so if you're not in that group then you may not watch this video and even if you watch this video and you agree with all of these the next time when you are going to a another astrologer for any consultation then please do not quote these points that i have told you okay because if you do that and then that astrologer feels that his ego is hurt or you are misbehaving with him or her then I will get karma for that. Okay, please. So please, my humble request, don't send me to hell. <laughs> okay. And these points will be valid for those who are getting a full consultation from an astrologer. Full consultation means like I have the options. Now in my website, I have option five and then many other options. So for that and for like astrologers, I have, you know, one hour, 90 minutes reading or two hour readings because these uh, points will focus on all the general areas of our life specifically and in general giving us a overview of all the areas of our life so uh, if you are booking some specific reading like when will i get married or which career should i choose then uh, these points may not be valid okay because uh, to discuss these 10 things it takes a lot of time and that's not possible that you or do it when you book a uh, short uh, question readings okay so now the first point is we should definitely do some birth time rectification yes most of the people uh, and this is very unfortunate that most of unfortunately most of the people have wrong birth times and when i say wrong i don't mean that they are lying but they themselves don't know now they will say that oh no 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 this is exact this is totally accurate 100 percent accurate my father has said you know my guru said my mother said he said she said oh whatever whoever said there is hardly any proof that what they are saying is correct because suppose uh, your mother told you that you were born at this time okay now when a mother is giving birth then she is not in a position to note the birth time now it could happen that uh, the father was noting but uh, another possibility could be that the nurse who was cutting the umbilical cord or the doctor they were noting or it could happen that they were uh, they were busy in doing that then then when they cleaned off everything and that and the baby was given to the lap of the mother then they say okay it's uh, 2 33 pm okay and many times especially uh, in countries like india there is a habit of taking things in approximation so suppose somebody was born at 228 then they will say that bol do, dhai bol do, 230 bol do. yes so that's very dangerous okay or they could say uh, he was born around 230 you know it could be 232 or 228 so it's very dangerous so do not jeopardize with this all right please spend suppose you are taking a reading for one hour please my humble request is spend 
minimum 10 to 15 minutes of your conversation uh, making sure that what uh, the bot time which you have given is correct okay because sometimes uh, people may be negligent while uh, giving so suppose a nurse is uh, writing or the doctor is writing they may be like eh, they give it how does it matter you know? because many of them may think that think that you know oh we do not believe astrology or we don't know about astrology so they don't know the importance of giving the right birth time all right so whoever has told you that your birth time is correct for god's sake keep your ego aside and do this rectification okay you don't have to do an entire rectification then that will be a reading itself but you have to do some uh, small rectification okay at least 10 15 minutes at least uh, some the astrologers should be able to know that it is your horoscope okay not that it is somebody else chart so that's very important that's the first thing you should do and yeah there are some people what they do is like i made a video uh, long back regarding this what they will do is they will uh, they will mail the astrologer that oh please give me five correct predictions of the past only then i will book a reading please don't do all this nonsense okay only go to an astrologer to that astrologer who you are totally confident with otherwise don't waste your time because if you do not have faith in somebody and you end up going to that person even if that person gives you the best predictions of your past or future uh, it will be of no use for you okay because jupiter operates in faith remember if faith is not there jupiter doesn't exist all right so when draupadi called out krishna she had faith that krishna will come when she was in a serious predicament okay and that is why krishna came now the next thing is the second point give important events of your life to that to that astrologer before you take the consultation and this will help in the birth time rectification also this is how we'll do now how do we define an important event now for somebody important event may be uh, like getting married or having a relationship or having a breakup or uh, your money was stolen or you won something very big now sometimes there are people who are so rich that for them buying a car is not an important event all right because they may be buying cars every year or the other so now it will depend on them that what is an important event so whatever you feel is important suppose you got something good and you felt it's okay i mean i don't think that affected me much but suppose you got something very small and there's a big transformation in your life then that event you must mention okay and the question is how many events you should mention at max 10 to 15 events do not give 300 events okay nobody has time to read 300 events and if you give too much information it will lead to information overload and then the whole consultation will be it will not uh, yield the desired effect you don't have to give things like when i was in my second standard i won a race 100 meter race then in my third standard i won a x tempo competition these information this kind of information is not required when it comes to the consultation ha suppose you feel that there was a the that uh, there you had an accident for example uh, that changed your life totally it gave you a new paradigm to life maybe you were five years old that time yes it could happen so then that is that thing which you should mention okay do not just go on mentioning events that will spoil it 10 to 15 events at max suppose you had a breakup and you were crying for you know two three years happen sometimes so you could give that event or if you feel that that's very important so now the next and this is huge let him or her the astrologer let them do the talking all right do not waste time yourself talking too much yes this is big i'm saying you book a one hour 90 minute reading and then what you do is you only speak for 15 minutes well it doesn't it's not very good because then you cannot benefit much speak what is required if you feel that i must speak this okay then speak it and come to the point very fast come to the point don't go on saying stories suppose 
your marriage is not going great you tell them that okay uh, we uh, the divorce is not happening we are planning to do a divorce we have had this suffering from last three years it's not working within 30 seconds to one minute you should able you should be able to say the problem okay rather than wasting 15 minutes saying five years back what your wife told you no or five years back what my husband told me it doesn't work like that okay be very specific be let him talk more okay him or her whoever the astrologer is because you want to benefit the most from that conversation okay so so the amount of time he speaks you will be having the upper hand okay and later on you can ask questions also then the fourth one is be precise and short okay be very short be very precise directly you should tell sir i think we'll have a divorce it's not working can you tell us is there chances of divorce or when it will happen rather than saying oh actually you know we got married in 2001 and after three years it was fine then marriage was problematic blah 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 oh, no 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 don't don't say stories i am saying okay again and again i am saying now again if you feel that something is very important you must say it, then say it okay then the next one is mantras and spiritual practices this is the most important thing you should ask you should ask what kind of mantra should I be chanting and what kind of spiritual practices should I do? There are many spiritual practices. So the ideally the astrologer is supposed to know the different spiritual practices and which kind of planetary alignments give which kind of spiritual practices depending on the individual horoscope. All right. And mantras, of course, if some astrologer is not giving you a mantra, you have simply wasted your time. Okay. Then the sixth thing is talents. What kind of talents do I have? So Vishti Larson has uh, made the series on Navamsha, which most of you would have seen. And there he has said, right, how planets in trines, they uh, give you talents, which could be used for your profession or for your overall well-being in life in general. Okay, so suppose somebody has a uh, Venus in the trines of Navamsha, then that person could have skills related to painting. And suppose Venus is in the 10th house in the Lagna chart, then you know that this trait could be used in his career. For example, I am saying this is one example. Okay, so the astrologer should be able to uh, know which talents the person has, and there are many ways by which you identify which planetary lords are sitting in which houses. Okay, so uh, by that, the astrologers should be able to tell uh, which areas in life you can enrich yourself with okay so if he he doesn't tell then ask yourself okay that is your duty or you could ask that what what are the things i am good at not necessarily talents but what are the things i am good at now suppose you already know you are good with something then please for god's sake tell it to him all right don't just hide it don't just say that okay let me see if he can catch it or not because he may, may not be able to catch it okay because he's not a perfect person nobody is actually so reveal yourself completely this is very important all right don't try and don't test and don't play games if you do that you will only lose the astrologer will not lose anything all right the next is seventh point is how can i improve my life my life in general how can i become a better human being how can i become a better person how can i become a more fulfilled individual inside overall okay those remedies you can ask what what should i do to improve my overall life in general this is very important because once you go to an astrologer to get a full consultation and after that when you end the consultation then you should feel that I have a roadmap to be a better indi individual now. All right. You must have got that many number of remedies and other spiritual practices by which you can improve your life. Okay. That is very important and that you must do it. Then number eight, inner peace. What can I do in a way that I get inner peace? This is like improvement in life only. This is a part of that, but specifically this is related to inside. Okay. Because many times we waste time uh, 
rather than calling waste i would say spend time talking too much about the future or talking too much about the past oh this happened that happened oh it was terrible you know but the question is whatever happened we cannot change now we have to see that how can we become more peaceful internally so this is one of the questions that you must ask the astrologer okay how should i gain inner peace what are my planetary alignments where the from where the problem is coming okay that you must ask what is my nature how can i improve my nature how can i be more peaceful inside more happy inside okay so 7 and 8 are similar but 8 is more important actually 7 is more external improvement in life and 8 is more internal then number 9 how can i improve my health this is very important because if you don't live only uh and many people ask this question that how many years will i live longevity and all this i don't think it is a a uh, very good question to ask because suppose i tell you you will only live for 60 years and suppose you are 55 when you are listening this then every day you will uh, keep thinking of this right that oh my god i will die after 5 years i will die i will die i will die i will die, I will die. <laughs> so if i am doing any consultation i would expect that nobody asks me these kind of questions that till how long will i live okay now if you are a self realized paramhamsa or you are a yogi or you are somebody like yudhishthir maharaj you are somebody like parikshit maharaj then maybe you are asking that's fine but if you are not then please do not ask such questions okay then the next thing is the last outlook to your future okay outlook to future means rather than asking dates and events which is very difficult in astrology yes i am admitting to the fact and this is not because that uh, astrologers are not able to give you dates but it is actually not possible using astrology to tell uh, when i will get married but we can get an outlook that okay suppose your mars madasha is coming then mars madasha is uh, good for your married life or it is not that great or in fact it's difficult or it's terrible okay about your career you will have financial losses you should you must ask him which planets are good and bad for what good and bad in layman's term because no planet is good and bad for anything it, it's like uh, if it is good you reap the benefits of your past lives and if it is bad you are suffering the karma which means your negative account is getting cleared so either ways uh, there is no good and bad but most of the people put this into good and bad categories okay because sometimes uh, the planets which are good for your career are not good for your marriage okay or the other way all around also it could be so you should have you should get a outlook of your future okay using many different dasha systems like vimshotri dasha is there then uh, we have chara dasha which is there then we have narayan dasha then we have uru dasha then you have manduk dasha there are so many dasha systems okay so depending on what questions you have the astrologer should be able to know which dasha should i apply this is very important all right so if somebody is asking things related to longevity then we must use chara dasha that's very important and uh, if somebody is asking questions related to anyways it's a long topic you know about dasha i'll speak some other time but you should have a outlook to the future okay so these are the 10 points which um, i feel that it's important to get a good reading and apart from these 10 points there is one last point which is most important okay the 11th point which is very 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 important is do not put words in his mouth should i repeat do not put words in his mouth so for example don't ask questions like everything will be fine no no <laughs> it may not be fine then so suppose you ask me sir actually my marriage is not going good everything will be fine no one day and then suppose by your karma i see that things are not very great then what do i answer i cannot answer you right then i will also bluff oh yeah actually you know it's good it's a bit challenging no don't become an astrologer you may know astrology that's dif- different but when you are going and getting a reading from somebody it is 
why you are getting the reading from somebody because you you believe that that person knows more than what i know all right so you should give him the full liberty to tell you what is there in the future okay which means do not handcuff him by saying oh uh, there will be no problems right things will be great right everything will be fine right no that's not the way then you are putting words into his mouth then he cannot do justice you have simply wasted your time and money all right so that's very important let him do his job properly do not try to interfere in his job yeah now suppose he is telling you something and uh, you, you feel that that is completely against of who you are or who, of what happened during that time then you should tell him that sir i think we should do a bot time rectification or we should do it more okay so that is uh, these are some of the techniques which i have found is uh, is going to help us when we get get a good reading from somebody okay so that is what i would like to share and apart from this there would be many things which uh, you could put down in this list all right and uh, yes so if you have any other tips you could also mention it down in the comment section okay because then that would help other people also all right so if you want a good consultation from me then you could also go to my website down below you'll find the link in the des description section and yes if you're new then please like comment share and subscribe and god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and he will help you go to a good guide or a guru or an astrologer okay thank you very much Oh, 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 oh,